Hey everyone and welcome to ICT Works. Today I am going to be looking at the Mini Sapuru, I hope I pronounced that correctly, 13 in 1 triple display docking station. In order for this to work with your laptop, you must have a Thunderbolt port, which most modern MacBooks and Windows laptops have. If you're new to docking station, then you are totally missing out. Imagine connecting all your laptop accessories with just one cable. How much time will that save you? In today's video, we are going to be getting this unboxed, then talk about the design and features and set it up and run some tests. So if you are considering this docking station, then hopefully today's video will help you out. And if you have any question, then please drop a comment below. Here we have the box and you have a nice quality picture of the dock on top of the box. It looks like a shot of the rear and you can clearly see what ports you have. To the top right, it highlights its key features. I am not entirely sure what anti-loss design means. Maybe it has a Kensington lock port. Over to the sides, you have the brand logo. You have a 13-in-1 triple display docking station statement on the front and a message thanking you which is a nice gesture as you don't often see this from manufacturers. On the back, you have some images showing you pretty much everything you need to know. So the first image, it shows the dock supporting up to four screens, including the laptop screen. And the third image showing that it supports Mac OS. Opening the box, we've got the dock right here. I'll pop that to the side for now. Let's have a look at the accessories. You've got them packed nicely in boxes. And here underneath you have a few more accessories. Here we have the main USB-C to USB-C host cable, which is about a metre long. A USB pen drive with the drivers, which is useful. And a USB-C to USB-A converter. You've got a brief instruction card with some QR codes for use and installation. And finally, the manual. And in this box, we have the power adapter. Onto the dock itself, it's got a nice aluminium finish to it. It doesn't feel cheap and it feels well built. It's got the brand stamped on top. Over to the side, you have this sleek design. It looks a bit like fins on a heat sink and some of the holes here are for ventilation. Underneath, you have the same aluminium finish and with some rubber feet to stop it sliding around. On the front, you have a nice selection of ports which are all labelled with the speed of the port. It would have been a nice touch to show the type of port, which would be useful for non-technical people. Overall, I am happy with the design. It's simple and elegant and not too distracting and won't look out of place on any desk. Onto the connection, starting with the front. On the left, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, which is a type A. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port. We have a 3.5mm headphone jack and we have two USB 2.0 Type-A ports. On the back, you have the ports which are nicely labelled. It's a small detail but will save time for non-technical people when identify what cable is required. You have two HDMI ports, two display ports, a network port, a USB-C interface to your laptop and a USB-C with power delivery. And finally, you have power adapter port. Plugging it in is very simple. Just plug in your inputs in from your monitors and then any other accessories and then just pop in the power supply. And finally, connect the USB-C to the host port and then to your laptop and that's it. Now at this point, you may want to consider plugging in your laptop charger as this dock does not charge your laptop like some of the more expensive Dell docks. I didn't have to install any drivers here. It just worked. So if you are buying one and having issues, just make sure that you have the drivers installed. On plugging it in, I did have to set the orientation of my screens and adjust the order to match. But other than that, everything is working as it should do. This is all normal for the first time. And when you disconnect and reconnect, it remembers your settings. Here I am demonstrating the dock running two 27 inch screens with 1440p resolution on a Windows laptop. Unfortunately, I won't be demonstrating it on a Mac OS today. Now, it is able to run three external screens, including the laptop at 4K resolution, which is very impressive. But bear in mind, your laptop GPU may have to be good in order to run these high resolutions smoothly. Most modern laptops should be fine. With running up to three screens, just imagine how productive you can be. It's great for content creators, designers and pretty much anyone who wants to multitask. The only downside for me is that it doesn't charge a laptop with the same USB-C cable as mentioned earlier. However, most modern laptops may have a different charger port or an additional USB-C port for charging. I did a quick performance test copying multiple files with a total of 15 gigabytes from a USB-free hard drive to the desktop which was connected directly to the laptop 
and it managed it in under five minutes. And the same test whilst plugged into the dock, it manages it in under four minutes. So that shows it's a quality product and not a cheap product that you find on Timu. How much does it cost? Well, this retails on Amazon for a £165 which is competitive and much cheaper than what I'm used to with the Dell docking stations. I may do a side-by-side -side comparison of both products. If you are interested in that, then let me know in the comments. Now, before we get to the verdict, I want to be clear. Mini Sapuru sent me this dock to review. I am not being paid and told them that I would do a non-biased review. Now to the verdict. Should you avoid it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you go ahead and buy it? If I didn't already have a Dell dock, I would definitely buy this product. It does have more ports compared to my Dell docking station and they're all presented on the front so it's a lot easier to access. It's 60 to 80 pounds cheaper than the Dell ones. Using these docks for a home or office setup is a no-brainer. It just makes the whole working experience that much easier and stress-free allowing you to be more productive. As a content creator myself, I wouldn't function properly without one. If you do want to support my channel, then I do have an affiliated link in the description for this product. I hope you found this video useful and it answers any questions you may have had. If you have any more, then please hit me up in the comments below. Drop a work smart, not hard comment and I will give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end of the video. And thank you for watching.